You also know guys, it's Houston Sports Talk back in another video today and today we're going to be talking about a potential signing for the Houston Rockets as it was reported yesterday by Jonathan Fagan, Houston Chronicle reporter, that the Houston Rockets are interested in Toronto Raptors center Jakob Pertl in free agency as Jonathan Fagan listed 13 players that the Rockets have interest. You know, we had kind of already knew about, you know, some of these guys, but there was four new names on the list that we've not heard of the Rockets being interested in some of these players. Jakob Pertl himself, Jordan Clarkson, Dante DiVincenzo, and uh, Dwight Powell were some of the new names that that was reported the Rockets to be interested in. And now uh, Jakob Pertl is another name to the list that the Rockets have interest in. The Rockets want to bring in a center, even though they have Alperen Sengun and Jabari Smith Jr. They have interest in guys like Jakob Perto, Dwight Powell, Burke Lopez. have some interest in some guys in the trade market, like Clint Capella, a couple other names in the trade market. But, I mean, and they had some interest in... Um, they, they Well, they there was a chance that, that maybe, potentially, Derek Olive, Lively... Uh, would have fell to the Rockets at 20, which that obviously didn't happen as Derek Lively was drafted 12 to the Mavericks, but uh, there was a chance that maybe could have happened, and ultimately it didn't, and um, ultimately it didn't, and we saw um, Li Lively go 12 to the Mavs, but there was a chance he could fall to 20, which it didn't happen. But the Rockets are interested in bringing in another center, which honestly, in my opinion, makes no sense when you have Jabari Smith Jr. and and um, Al Prince and Goon. Because I feel like with the Rockets, with you know how they're going to be run you know, right now, I honestly see whenever Al Prince and Goon's not on the court, I see Jabari Smith playing five, the five. And it's not even like you're playing small ball. Jabari is 6'10", 6'11". So you put Jabari at the five whenever Sengun sits on the floor, your lineup is, you know... You have a good lineup even when, when Al Prince and Goon's off the floor, which would be a good idea for the Rockets. I mean, we saw the Rockets starting to do that a little bit at the, at the end of the year. You still saw Yusman Garuba get a couple minutes every now and then for the Rockets. And sometimes you'd see Bobon or Frank Kaminsky touch the floor. But at the end of the year, you're starting to see the Rockets do a thing where ever Sangoon was off the floor, Jabari would come in at the five, usually. And. If Jabari and Sengun both needed to rest at the same time, Yusman Garuba would play. Yusman Garuba would get around 6 to 10 minutes per game. So the, the Rockets, they, you know, I just don't see the point of signing another center when there's a decent chance that, that the Rockets will play Jabari at the 5 a lot next year whenever Sengun needs to rest. And if you're going to sign a center, I just don't really see the point of signing Jakob Pertl. He's talented. And but he's going to cost a lot of money, and honestly, I don't know if I see a guy like Jakob Pertl playing a lot in the Rockets rotation. Obviously, he's going to play a lot off the bench, but I mean, you have Sengun. I don't really see Jakob Pertl and Sengun playing on the you know at the same time on the floor. And Sengun's going to be getting around thirty to thirty three minutes per game for the Rockets next season. So, I mean, then you're looking at Jakob Pertl getting like fourteen. You're looking at Jakob Pertl getting 15 to 18 minutes a game for the for the Rockets. So I honestly, I feel like if you're looking for a center to potentially play maybe 15 to 20 minutes per game for the Rockets, that's where, okay, that's where you go after Dwight Powell. He's cheaper, and I don't think he will have a really you know big problem with playing 15 to 20 minutes per game. And would be a good fit for the Rockets. Um, but Jakob Pertl is going to be expensive. And I don't really know if I see the Rockets, you know, playing him as much as he deserves to be played. Because you have Sengun. He's a, I, don't, I don't see Sengun and Jakob Pertl being on the floor at the same time. I just don't really see that happening. And and so in that case, if Sengun's going to get in the area of 30 to 33 minutes per game, that means Jakob Pertl's only getting 15 uh, to 18, 20 minutes per game, and I don't think that's something Pertle's going to want to do. But in, in that case, the White Pal is a perfect fit for the Rockets if you want to bring in a backup center who is going to play 15 to 20 minutes per game for you. So I I, would, I love Yaka Pertle. He had a great season, average 12 and a half and 12 and a half points per game and 10 rebounds per game, but I just don't see the fit for the Rockets. 
But I, if the signing happened, I think the Rockets would be able to make it work and it would be a good signing. But we shall see what happens for the Rockets. You guys are my thoughts. And that's it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, peace out. Go Rockets.